expression that represents repeated multiplication of the same factor is Brecken, you're late again. See me after class. An expression that represents repeated multiplication of the same factor is called a power. In the previous section, we used an example where we wanted to know how many hours a person works over a period of two days. If he, each day, were to work four hours before lunch and three hours after lunch. As we could see, this problem could be turned into an expression. When we want to translate a verbal phrase, like the example above, into a mathematical expression, we can look for words that include, yes, Caitlin, indicate that we are to use addition. The words like time and multiplied by call It's just me. Dang it, Derek, you scared the crap out of me. My bad, I wanted to catch the hottest fish in the ocean before she swam away. Oh, you're so corny. Really? You should really talk to him, Jake. Jake, eyes to the front, please. Hey, can I get on this? Tucker! Tucker! What are you doing here, man? Can the best wrestler in the school go to the bathroom in peace? Well, when you get caught smoking in the boys' bathroom, uh, yeah, I should have questioned question you. Gee, you make one mistake and nobody can trust you. Hey, did you guys hear about Brecken and Jim last period? Derek over here pants him during dodgeball when the teacher went in his office. Little Brecker's hid in the locker room until everybody left. Jason said he went in there a few minutes ago, and he was still in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure he's okay. Whatever, he's just tired or something. <laughs> nah, he's sending the dork to detention. Maybe his mom will come in and cuss him out again like last time. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was the best. She howled into the principal's office and almost threw Brecken over his desk just to start spanking him. Out of the office, chasing him with her shoe. <laughs> no kidding. Never seen someone that big move so quick. I'm sure that That's I it! Brecken! He's got it! An expression that represents repeated multiplication of the same factor. Brecken, you're late again. See me after class. An expression that represents repeated multiplication of the same factor is called a power. Where five is used in an example where we how many hours a person works over a period of two days. It's just me. Dang it, Derek, you scared the crap out of me. My bad, I wanted to catch the hottest fish in the ocean before she swam away. Oh, you're so corny. You should really talk to him, Jake. No, I'm sure he's okay. Whatever, he's just tired of something. No, something really seems to be bothering him. What would I say? Come on, just say something to him. Anything. Hey, did you guys hear about Brecken and Jim last period? Derek over here pants him during dodgeball when the teacher went in his office. What if he gets mad? What if he says it's none of my business? Jason said Maybe I'm just overthinking this. And he was still in there. <laughs> what if he makes a scene? What if I say the wrong thing? What if I can't do it? Why does it have to be me? No, I can't do this. I'm not ready. Maybe somebody else will say something. What if he laughs at me? What if people start making fun of me? What if he doesn't want to talk to me? What if nothing is wrong? No! Something's definitely wrong. No, get it! Never think about it! it. You okay, man? I heard about gym class. Look, I just wanted to let you know that I get crap from them too. All the time. Well, good for you. Don't worry that they, they won't have another chance to treat me that way again.
Hey, I get it. Look, I noticed that you walk home the same way I do. We could walk and talk on the way home. Hey, maybe you could even come over. We've got the new Call of Duty. Yeah, sure. Why not? Get rid of all some steam with some Nazi zombies right now. Great. See you after class. Hey, play back there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds good. That's a good song. Yeah, I was thinking we could do that thing. Hey, Brecken. What's up? And you sitting with us again today? No, no, the uh, pastor actually wants me to give my testimony, actually. So maybe next time, yeah. Really? Bro, that's awesome. Well, good luck. Here, take a Bible. You'll need it. Thanks. See you, man. <laughs> introduce a young man who I've gotten the opportunity to talk with, had a great conversation, and learned of his excellent testimony. Brother Brecken, we want to introduce him and be able to let him share his awesome testimony with you. So, Brother Brecken, would you come up and uh, share your testimony with us, please? Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Jake. So, uh, my name is Brecken, and uh, I'm a little bit, you know, nervous. It's not, uh, it's not very easy for me to, uh, you know, give my my background, my my story, basically talk about my life a little bit. But uh, I'll do my best. Uh, basically, I um, didn't have the best childhood. Um, you know, my mom, she uh, didn't really care for me much. Not really sure why. Probably had a lot to do with my dad, and you know I didn't really even know him. He uh, passed away when I was two, maybe three. I can't even remember him. Apparently, he um, passed from a uh, a drug overdose, is from what my my mother told me. So, you know, my my home life wasn't just very good at all. And I, you know, I tried to find some, some escape, some escape from reality. And I, uh, I thought, I thought to myself that school, you know, that would be my, my, my home away from home, I guess I should say, you know, my one escape. But, um, you know, as time went on, it, it didn't get any better from there. I, uh, I grew up, I got a little older and that's when the bullying started. I was just at such a low point in my life. It just, nothing was getting better for me. You know, the depression was the, the worst it had ever been. I, I couldn't take it anymore. I, I just, there was, there was nothing left. But, lo and behold, there was this, there was this kid, his name was Jake, and I never really talked to him, never really talked to him at all. I just thought he was some, you know, from my background, I, I thought he was just some nerdy Christian kid. I didn't know what to think of him. I never really talked to him, nobody ever talked to me, but <laughs> that, 
that day, he reached out to me. He reached out to me and he spoke to me. And he let me know that someone was there. And he just, you know, he just, uh, he started talking to me and he uh, invited me to hang out, you know? He befriended me. And he, you know, invited me over to his house to play some video games and, you know, I, 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 I humored him a little. I sure, I, I, I thought, sure, whatever, why not? Let's, let's hang out. It's, it's very, it's gonna be very difficult for me to say this next part. Jake, you did not know this. Nobody ever knew this, but I started bringing a gun to school. I just, I don't know why. I don't know why. I just had it in my backpack. Just, I never intended to do anything with it. I, I don't know why I felt the need to have it. <clears throat> I guess, I, I, I guess it gave me some sort of empowerment. Like I could, at the flick of a switch, I could change the situation. Like it gave me the power. I, I could just end it all. And I planned that day to just take out as many people as I could. I didn't care. I was lost. I didn't care anymore. I wasn't raised in a very you know, religious household or anything. And I never really believed in God too much at all, as much as I probably should, but I know one thing is for sure. I know he sent you into my life to save me. He sent you at the perfect time, and if you had not come at that time, nobody in that classroom would be here today. I might not be here today, you might not be here today, but you saved me. You saved my life, Jake. Thank you so much, Jake. Spirit come alive in me 